Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the SATS reasoning questions that have to do with capacity. Children solving problems that are all about the capacity and how much uh, liquids containers can hold. One key piece of knowledge the children will need to answer these types of questions is knowing how many millilitres are in one litre. 1000 millilitres equals one litre. OK, so the first question I'm going to look at, these are all old SATS questions. OK, so having a practice of these will really help you prepare for your reasoning papers. Here is a baby's drinking cup. OK, we've got a picture here. How many millilitres of water are in the cup? Now, we get to see here that we've got a marking that says 100 millilitres. We've got a marking that says 200 millilitres. But we can see here the water is somewhere in between. And we don't know or what these go up in here, what that marking could be. So the first thing is to work out what these increments represent, these gaps. So we've got one, two, three, and four, and we get to 100. So the best thing to do is to do 100 divided by four, okay, which equals 25, because 25 goes into 100 four times. So that one there is 25, another 25 would be 50, that would be 75, and then I get to 100. So we know that it works, Therefore, this, the first increment after 100, will be 125, making this answer 125 millilitres. So working out the increments, what it's going up in, is key to answering these types of questions. All right, another question. Um, again, we get a measuring jug here. We've got increments again. And it says, Mr. Carton makes a blackcurrant drink for a party. He pours blackcurrant squash into a jug. There it is. How much water must he add to make 500 millilitres? So a different kinds of question. He needs to get it to this point here, 500 millilitres. He's currently, that's how much juice he's got. But we don't know the exact amount because we don't, we don't know these increments. So again, one, two, three, four, five. So there are five increments before we get to the next 100 millilitres. So I'm going to do 100 divided by five. That gives me 20. So each one of these small increments stands for 20. So we've got 120, 140, 150, 160, 180, 200. So it works. So currently we have 140, 140 millilitres in this jug. But Mr. Khan needs 500 millilitres. So 140. So I'm going to do 500, take away 140. Zero take away zero, zero, zero take away four can't do, that becomes four, that becomes ten. Ten take away four is six, and four take away one is three. So he needs another 360 millilitres to get to that 500 mark. So that is our answer. He must add 360 millilitres, and that will be correct. So you can see there's a number of steps involved, but the main one is to work out what these increments are here. Okay, next question. This time we've got a jug of milk or a carton of milk. A bottle contains 568 millilitres of milk. Jack pours out half a litre. How much milk is left? So he's starting off with 568. Now remember, I told you, you need to know that 1,000 millilitres is equal to one litre. Therefore, 500 millilitres is equal to half of that half a litre, okay? So, he's a he's a, poured out half a litre, so he's poured out 500 millilitres. So I'm going to take 500 away from 568, and I am left with 68. So how much milk is left? 68 millilitres. And don't forget to include the unit of measurement. A lot of marks um, can be lost if we don't include if we just write 68, you might not get the mark. You need to include the unit of measurement there. All right, next one, we've got more traditional word problem here with some information, a working out box, okay? Megan wants to fill a bucket of water. A bucket holds six litres, which we know is 6,000 millilitres. A jug holds 500 millilitres, okay? How many jugs, how many jugs of water does make a need to fill the empty bucket. So essentially, how many 500s does she need to get to 6,000? Well, you could either do it this way, 6,000 divided by 500. 
Um, or you could use your known facts. For example, I know that um, five times um, five times twelve equals sixty. So five hundred milliliters, okay, times twelve would give me six thousand um, milliliters. Six liters as we know here so really she needs 12 of these jugs to make the bucket full and 12 would be our answer how have i done it well i've either done 6000 divided by 500 which would give me 12 or use my known facts to know that 500 times 12 would give me 6000 6000 is the answer because 6 liters equals 6000 okay so 6000 it would take 12 of these jugs holding 500 milliliters to get to that 6,000. So 12 is the answer because it's saying how many jugs of water does Megan need to fill the empty bucket? So again, even though this is a capacity question, there's other parts to it. You need to know your times tables, your known facts. You need to be able to divide and multiply. Okay, here you can see the solution and how they've worked it out. One jug is half a liter, two jugs is one liter, Therefore, 12 jugs is going to be 6 litres. OK, so similar to the way I worked it out. OK, this question says, Mina has two cartons of juice. Each carton contains 220 millilitres. She's got orange and she's got pineapple. She empties them both into a jug. Draw an arrow to show the level of mixture in the jug. So first of all, we know that both of them hold 220. So that's 220 times 2, or 220 add 2, added together, sorry, so 0, 4, 4. So altogether, with both cartons, it's 440 millilitres. So how am I going to show that on here? Well, now I need to work out the increments. I can see 400 here, but where's 440? So 200, and um, we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8. So it's not going up in 20s um 25 50 75 it looks to be going up in 25s again now we've got to get to 440 so this is about an estimate and about being in the right area so there's 400 that's 425 that will be 450 so my arrow is going to be somewhere here and it doesn't be exactly right but it has to be in the right area and that would give me a mark because that's 450 so that just before that would be 440 wouldn't it and that would be correct okay let's look at another question then it says which value completes the sentence tick the correct box a can of drink holds and we've got to tick one of these so 0 0.3 liters now the key information i need is that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter okay so that means that um half a liter is 0 0.5 okay milliliters uh, yeah um, or 500 milliliters so it's about the children having an understanding of a can of drink which i'm sure they've had in the past and think about how much liquid this holds well if we look at this 0 0.3 liters is roughly 300 milliliters okay which is similar to half a liter 500 500 milliliters Three, three litres would be 3,000 millilitres. 30 litres would be 30,000 millilitres. And 300 litres would be 300,000 millilitres. 300 litres would be 300,000 millilitres. Now, just to give an indication of size, I've just included this picture here. However, they wouldn't get this on their SATs. So you can see that a small can is 0 0.25 litres or 250 millilitres. Um, a normal can is 330 millilitres. A bottle of Coke is 500 millilitres. Then you've got one litre. I've got a one litre bottle of Coke. One, so that's going to be a thousand. You've got 1.5 litres, which is 1,500 millilitres. And then two, this big bottle is 2,000 milliliters or two liters so you can see even the biggest bottle of coke is not actually 
close to 3,000 millilitres, or this one, 3 litres. Definitely not 30 litres, and definitely not 300 litres. So the, the, the estimate answer here would be this one, because it's 300 millilitres, and a can of drink actually holds 330 millilitres. So it's very close to the actual amount. So this one here would be the correct answer. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. These were just some of the types of capacity questions that could come up on the reasoning paper. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos about primary education and about preparing for your year six SATs. I'll be bringing out more videos about the reasoning paper coming up soon. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.